Hello, this is Bass Jansen and today we're gonna add a MIDI dim plug to our MIDI to DMX light controller. Let's get started. Okay, so we're back again here with the same two modules we used last time. We have an Atmega 32U4 microprocessor. Uh, this is the Itsy Bitsy. If you get the Itsy Bitsy, make sure that you get the 5 volt 16 megahertz version uh, because there's also a 3 volt version. And we want to use 5 volt for the MAX485 module uh, as well as for the MIDI module that I'll show you in a second. And we have the MAX485 module that we used last time. Uh, we'll again get rid of the screw terminals, the headers uh, and uh, resist R7 here. Okay, then I designed for the MIDI input my own MIDI input board and ordered it at GLC PCB. I did it because I couldn't really find small MIDI input modules and most of them had MIDI in and out and were hard to get. So yeah, I'll put the design files on, of this also on the repository so you can order it yourself. Um, I've tested it already and it works quite well. This is perfectly according to the MIDI specification. Yeah, so I soldered the MIDI 5 din input uh, to, to this board already and some headers to test it. And uh, yeah, it works great. Uh, then of course you'll need um, a DMX output cable. Uh, make sure you have the female. I just like cut it from an existing cable again. Of course you can uh, use a panel mount, uh, but yeah, um, I like to do it this way. Then um, I just want to point out one other thing. We got this module here. This is um, a DMX sh shield for the Arduino Leonardo. Um, as you can see, there's an Arduino Leonardo underneath here. It's the same uh, microprocessor, also the Atmega 32U4. Uh, this is very easy. You uh, just put it on. You have the DMX output here. Uh, and then if you use my module with the header pins, uh, then the free jumper cables and you're set, uh, ready and set to go. That's exactly what I did to test this, uh, but I still think this is quite bulky and there's the DMX input, which we don't need. So yeah, uh, I'd rather make a smaller version, which I'm gonna do now. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, let's get started. So yeah, this is it now. Okay, so we got uh, DMX uh, negative uh, to B, DMX positive to A. Uh, then we have the ground and five volt. Um, and DE and RE, I, I moved that one because the cable was uh, a bit too short. So I moved DE and RE to uh, pin two actually. 
and then uh, yeah, DMX in goes to pin uh, five, and then uh, MIDI also ground and plus five volt, and then the RX is going to uh, pin zero here. Yes, and that's it. Then we'll um, design a little case uh, around it. I think it's gonna be quite nice and square, like a rectangle. Um, yeah, and then uh, there's power here, DMX out here, and MIDI in here. Okay, epic. So apparently my itsy bitsy is completely dead. It didn't show up on the computer and the LED light even didn't go on. And because there were no itsy bitsies left in stock at my local store here, I've ordered an Arduino Pro Micro instead. It's, it's almost the same size, it has the same chip on there, I only needed to change some pins. So what I did is I connected pin 16 here to the transmit pin of DMX, and I connected pin 9 here to the E and RE. Yeah, and that's it. Then I hot glued it a bit together to make it nice and sturdy. It only needs a beautiful case around it now. Okay, let's finally put some code on this here. So, this is the Arduino code. I created two different versions now, a direct one and a mapped version. The direct one is almost the same as last time, except for that I added support for serial MIDI transport now. So I have two defines here. The first define enables the USB MIDI. Uh, that's the same one that we used last time, is the MIDI going through the USB cable. And then we have the second define which enables the serial MIDI through the DIN5 input plug. If you leave these both uncommented, you can use these simultaneously, which is really cool. If you for some reason don't want to use either of these, you can comment one out um, and the program will just work fine. Okay, so if you go down here, one thing you'll need to do, just like last time, is init your DMX channels. So these are my, my four lights here, and this is how I init them. Your lights maybe need some different initialization to work properly. Okay, so the mapped version, almost the same, also has these defines here. Uh, but of course, the mapping is added to this one. So I'll just go down where the MIDI gets mapped. So this is the mapping. So what I did is the first two octaves from C1 to B2, I mapped to the color. It's like a color wheel. Okay, let's see that. So we got red here on C1, and then we go up, and then we go through the color wheel. Super amazing. All the way up to B2. And it's also velocity sensitive. So if I press soft, then it's not so bright if I press hard, and it's very bright, soft, bright. Super cool. Okay, then the second, uh, the, oh yeah, actually the third octave, C3 to B3, um, is the white light dimmer. Okay, so, so let's show that. Okay, so if we go up, the white light goes up. And I connected the white of the strobe and the amber of my hex lamps. Okay, then the fourth octave, the first half, C4 to E4, is um, the color lights off. So if I put the color light on like this, then any of these five keys will turn the color lights off. And then the fourth octave, F4 to C5, I mapped to the fading speed. So if I do um, F, it's super fast, as you have seen, but if I do uh, C5, the slowest one, it will transition very slow between the colors, which is really nice. Even the strobe will go up slowly and go down slowly. Okay, the, the only thing you need to do um, in, in this code is also init your lights, just as the direct one. So I, I, I have my four lights here and this is how I initialize them. And then you also need to map the RGB color and the white color which are generated below, uh, you need to map them to your DMX channels. So I just mapped RGB to the RGB channels of my lights and white to the white strobe uh, and to the amber of my hex washers. Okay, so that's it in the code. 
Then in Arduino, um, it's actually the same as last time. Uh, just select Arduino Leonardo um, in the, as the board here, uh, and then select the port of uh, your microcontroller that you connected. So uh, even though if it's an Itsibiti or an Arduino Pro Micro, uh, it will be Arduino Leonardo here. Oh yeah, so what I forgot to add, I programmed the pitch band to be some kind of color band, as you can see. Really cool. And I programmed the modulation wheel to be the brightness level. Also works for the white light. Yeah, super cool. Okay, let's do a demo. So, and for the final touch, I designed this case here. I'll upload the 3D model to the repository so you can print it yourself. Okay, let's try to put it in. And as you can see, it fits perfectly with my design using the Arduino Pro Micro. And on this side, I designed a hole which I filled with hot glue so that you can also see that it's turned on. Okay, let's try that. So, put some power in. And as you can see, the red light turns on beautifully. Okay, so I think this is it for now. This is the new MIDI to DMX controller using the DIN5 MIDI plug. And yeah, please like and subscribe and uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.